You know, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was asked to speak at the Rotary's uh, 90th anniversary um, celebrations at the coast. And when I got up to speak, I told them that what got us here will not got, get us there. But also, I made them understand that we live in the biggest ADD culture of our time. A lot of them were asking, ADD? Um, attention Deficit Disorder. And it's not a bad thing. <laughs> It wasn't that S got engaged and uh, her fiancé did an amazing thing. It's that Mwiregi became something we worked on. Let's talk about that. Number one, if you think you can still do 10 layers of approvals before you jump on something that gives you a marketing opportunity, you're a nutcase. To every corporate that got it yesterday, I'm telling you, digital marketing has come of age and Murigi should be given a medal. He sat there good naturedly. I followed him uh, on Twitter and just literally replied to everything as he wanted to. And he was good enough to understand he wasn't being trolled at all. He, he realized it had moved on beyond him, like in the first five tweets. <laughs> it, it stopped being about him. But when you see what KFC did, I'm like, come on. Um, I loved uh, what Celtel did, um, Airtel, sorry, Airtel did. I loved what Chase Bank did. I loved what Beamer274, is that who they are? Brilliant. But I remember the first time I noticed that corporates need to think faster and move faster was the hashtag Baba While You're Away. And a day before that hashtag, I'd had um, a little, mm, I don't know, I teach sometimes. The Kenya Institute of Management allows me to get into a room with some corporate types. And um, Weetabix uh, were seriously thinking about, you know, going there. And I remember that day they said, Baba, while you're away, we decided to launch our Twitter handle and hope to get 500 followers. And I thought, well in. How else were they going to tell everybody we are now on Twitter when the thing that is trending is larger than their own Twitter handle? They found a way to make sure people paid attention. And I think slowly by slowly, corporates understanding when it happens, when it's hot, you strike. There is no time to wait for five layers of approval. And then I don't know who has to sign what off and they eh, gone, gone. It was done by midday. But Paul Mwirigi, Ah, was just amazing. I think digital has come of age. And if you still don't believe it, you must understand this. We live in the biggest ADD culture of our time, where stories are told in microseconds, where if you don't get my attention now and you're not where the eyeballs are, you're in trouble. You see, we have no shortage of media. What we do have, though, is a shortage of attention. And you cannot buy attention. It doesn't matter what your marketing budget is. And what Pole Mwirigi did, by the way, I he is going to lunch with me on Friday. We might have a late lunch, but we're going to lunch because I'm thinking, what? So S is off the market and so? <laughs> he can still hang out with some fly girls, if I should say so myself. But I think what is really important about the hashtag is digital marketing and corporate Kenya is understanding that you cannot play this game three levels of decision making later now and if it's handed to you run with it run with it obviously i'm in the digital age so subscribe to my youtube channel thank you